Welcome back once again, guildmates. I am Richie. This is the Fairy Tale Podcast. I'm here to dub some manga. We're doing Black Clover. And, um, yeah, if you want to know why these are late, and I will talk, a I will be talking about AWA stuff, but uh, all that important stuff, make sure to go check out my Ace of Diamond Act 2, Chapter 138 manga dub. The beginning of that explains everything and why I'm moving so quickly through these chapters and I'm kind of going through it faster than I probably would normally be. Um, but essentially, yeah, all the information's there. Please go check that out. Uh, you don't have to stay for the manga dub if you're not a fan of the manga, but at least make sure to be there for the beginning conversation for that. Now, we're jumping straight into 173. The Mighty Reincarnated Elves Converge on the Castle. Chapter 173, Decisive Battle, Clover Castle. <laughs> it won't be long now, my fellow afflicted brethren. <sighs> Jesus. Well, what's the meaning of this, House of Odd? Your son, who wrought violence and recklessness upon my royal knight's selection exam, is now being suspected of treason? Explain yourselves. Your Majesty, it has to be some kind of mistake. There's no way our House of Vaud would produce such a traitor. Th that's right. There's absolutely no way Langris is a traitor. Anyway, I cannot allow a house where such rumors have surfaced to take one who carries my bloodline to be their bride. But, but, Grand Uncle, I don't mind any of these rumors about Sir Langris and Sir Fenril. Won't you please be benevolent? Your Majesty, terrible news! Many attacking mages are assaulting the royal capital and closing in. What? Shut up! That's your job, isn't it? You do something about it. What the heck are the magic knights doing? Uh, well... They're kind of being surrounded, and some of them are consumed. What's the meaning of this many members of Golden Dawn assembling here? The palace gate is under the protection of the royal palace guard. Hurry and get to protecting the people of the royal capital. We have business with the humans on the other side of that gate. We're in the middle of an emergency here. What are you playing at? Beyond this is the castle of the three great royal families. Magic Knight or not, you cannot enter without permission. That's simply a rule you all decided on your own, isn't it? What, what are you? I couldn't care less about it. Treason! Suppress them at once! Compass magic. Uh, willful compass. Oh, he turned their attacks back on them. Holy crap. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. I'll take the right. All right, then I'll take the left. I'll just keep plowing straight forward and gouge their very lives out. So, then it really was Langris that made that hole in the castle gate. I could give a damn about the royalty, but tons of real strong bastards have made their way into the castle. So let's leave the town to the other magic knights and head for the castle, Finral. Yes, sir. <sighs> oh, shit. I love that they've got, like, this portal ability to just kind of jump through. Jesus! They already took everybody down? Look it over. Oh! Every last one of them is seething with magic energy. And there's dozens of them in there. This is seriously bad news. Four, huh? This is gonna be tough. No matter how many of the likes of you humans comes at us, you can never defeat... <laughs> oh! Oh, damn! What completely reckless magic! I can't believe this! Every last one of these rejects lets their bodies get taken over. Well, I suppose this should make for some good entertainment for me! <laughs> After all, all the people were tearing apart, and all are here in the castle. <laughs> yes, beforehand, I was tipped off about this guy, so I had an idea as to what voice I wanted to go with. It's the captain of the Green Mantis, Jack the Ripper! Great, now we got a freak like this for our reinforcements. What was that? Want me to start with you, Yami? Anyways, you nearly tore us apart just now, too. Screw it. I'm just glad you're not here as my enemy, you lanky... Oh, no. Screw it. I'm just glad you're not here as my enemy, you lanky bastard. 
I'm not letting anyone else take dibs on this much fun. You muscle-headed moron. <laughs> we won't le we won't leave a single one of you humans alive. Uh, of you alive, you humans. Ripping magic. Ripping magic. Death size. Ground magic. Ideal cult. Uh, cold sir. You won't be able to cut through my magic with that level of power. Oh, jeez. Are they gonna have trouble here? Useless! This is bad. Even two captains are having this hard of a fight against them. <laughs> Enough playing around already, wouldn't you say, you lanky freak? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Ripping magic. Death size. Is that the only thing you know how to do? I already told you your magic won't work on me. Oh shit! He just tore him right through him. What? What? When he crosses blades with the enemy, his blade is fused with the enemy's magic and changes its characteristics and properties, sharpening it. There's nothing that I can't slice open. Now, show me something really worth excising. Bold, fearless, cleaving. Black Clover, chapter 173, end. Shit, I wish I had the comments to read through, because this guy is fucking insane and I love it. Ah! Ah, okay, I'm liking this Grim Reaper guy, and I like the voice I get to do for him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What kind of, uh thoughts you have on the voice and of course i want your thoughts and opinions on this chapter because unfortunately i don't have community comments to read through right now so i am counting on you hope you enjoy this video like it thumbs up if you don't thumbs down give me critiques and criticism on how i can improve these to make them better that being said i'm richie roberts gotta move on to my hero academia's new chapter i'll see you later gators